Hi there, hope you're having a good day and welcome back to another video. So I recently watched a few YouTubers lists on the best back to school sneakers this year. So I thought, why don't I make a list on the best back to school basketball shoes? Because now I look back at when I was in school, I was really wearing performance shoes a lot too, other than like regular lifestyle sneakers. And sometimes just so it's easy to get some pickup runs after class, so I didn't have to bring extra shoes. I'm gonna quickly explain my criteria for this list. And if you're also past the school age like myself, I'm pretty sure that you can at least still find something out of this list. So in my opinion, the first thing has gotta be that you can easily find the shoes in store or online. And preferably there's some sales going on too, since it is fall season, which means discount time for hoop shoes. Many stores and sites actually have the back to school sale on right now as we speak. Being affordable and budget friendly is very important here. You know, the Jordan Luca one, for example, I absolutely love them. Amazing performer, but they're just still not widely available yet. And some of the first colorways are even reselling, so that's not gonna make this list. Another important thing is that the shoes need to be durable for indoor and outdoor use. I'm assuming that it's almost impossible to have access to an indoor gym all the time, whether you're in high school, middle school, or college. So rocking a shoe that's best for indoors only on a daily basis is probably not a smart thing to do. I also add in some thoughts on which ones can stand out the most among other hoopers, but that's perhaps not as important. Again, if you're simply interested in some of the best hoop shoes that you can easily find, also good for outdoor and daily use, take a look and see if this helps. Let's get started. The first shoe on my list is the Harden Volume 6. So the Harden 6 has been out for a while now, and you should be able to find a few colorways going on sale. These have a full lens boost setup. If you have a pair of, let's say, Ultra Boost or NMDs, you already know the comfort level of boost and how good it can be for daily casual wear. Performance wise, the Harden Volume 6 has really good traction and impact protection. It's white foot friendly and also good for outdoor use if you're gonna be playing on asphalt or concrete courts before winter starts. One downside is that the suede material on the upper can get dirty really easily. So if you're someone who's really particular about keeping your shoes clean at all times during school, you gotta keep that in mind. And speaking of hardened shoes, the Harden Step Back 3 is a fantastic budget shoe that you can consider. So I'm in Canada and for the past week or so, Adidas has been having a back to school sale. So you can get these for like 40% off. And being a budget shoe, these were already in the 80 to $90 range to begin with. Excellent traction. The cushioning is not gonna be as good as the volume six, but for the general purpose of going back to school, these have great value for its price. And it's honestly better than a lot of Nike budget shoes, in my opinion. Also from the Adidas basketball shoes, the Trayon 1 is another great option and many colorways are on sale too. To keep things nice and short, if you were to ask me to only recommend one shoe for outdoor use, I'll say the Trayon 1s. I've had my pair since last October and the also is holding up perfectly fine. So they're definitely a durable shoe. Another good thing is that they have a very wide base, good for wide footers, but I would recommend going down a half size, otherwise heel slippage can be a problem. Moving on to probably my favorite shoe this year overall, the Nike PG6. I literally now have three different colorways, and the reason they're so good is that the cushioning was a major improvement from the PG5. The traction works very well on most types of surfaces, and aesthetically, I think they even look great for casual wear too. Quite a few dope colorways to choose from, and I personally really love this pink one. Having a bright colorway can really pop on the court. The PG6 basically checks the box in most of the performance aspects, and the only thing is that because they are still technically a newer release, I still haven't seen any colorway on sale yet. But the retail price is already on the lower end among signature shoes at 110 US dollars. So it is worth the money as your next basketball shoe. Uh, while we're here, I wanna quickly explain why I didn't put the Kyrie's on this list for back to school. Uh, one is that the also really isn't the most durable for outdoor use. The grooves are really soft and thin. And two is that compared to the PG's, for example, they are slightly more expensive. Without a good deal, I wouldn't recommend buying a brand new pair to start wearing every day. Also based on my observations, the Kyrie Infinity is one of the most popular hoop shoes out there in like the local pickup games and rec leagues. So if you're trying to stay away from the mainstream, maybe avoid the Kyrie's. It's basically the same logic as why I wouldn't wear the Panda Dunks, let's say. I uh, just don't want to look like everybody else out there, you know. So if you want to spend less on a pair that has great value, from the Nike budget shoes, I would recommend the Precision 6. These should be available on the Nike website, 
I mean, obviously depending on where you are. 75 bucks, very low to the ground and lightweight hoop shoe that should last you a long time. I play with the Precision 5 Outdoors. Both versions have the exact same also on traction pattern, so durability is decent too. And obviously here you're going for the low price so that you don't have to worry too much while you're wearing them. All right, so just a few more to round things up. The Curry 306 is an excellent budget shoe from Under Armour. One of the most comfortable basketball shoes on feet at the $80 price range. At that price, you get a Curry shoe, not just some random chunky looking shoe, not too bad. I just haven't played with those outdoors yet, so I'm not sure if those can be good for extended outdoor use, so keep that in mind. The Puma RS Dreamer and Court Rider are also good options. You should be able to find some colorways going on sale for a pretty good deal. And the comfort level for both of those Puma shoes are not bad at all. It's just that the RS Dreamer takes some time to break in, but once you break it in, like my pair is worn so much and I love playing in those. So that concludes this list for the easiest to find and also most affordable basketball shoes for back to school this year. In my opinion, all of these have great value for the prices, especially if you can find a good deal on them. Obviously, there are a lot of other good options, but depending on where you are, it could have been different shoes that are on sale. So drop down your questions or thoughts on any of them down in the comments. I always love to discuss more with you guys. And for those of you who are going back to school soon, best of luck with your studies and everything. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.